Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the Insanity Era. Welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. <laughs> Last time we saved Bobby in Chestnut Valley. <laughs> this time we're going into the Water Elemental Temple. Ow! <laughs> Shrine, not not temple. Check out that stone dragon in the back. Is that the water elemental? Ooh, Bobby's really missing out. Yes. Bobby has decided to stay in the back like a little wuss. Leaving us to do the dirty work. Going this way? Yeah, yeah we're going this way. Okay. Uh, if, if you please. If you could please. It is very dark in here. Hold on. Oh, I have no power with the... Yeah. Found it. You used your precious confetti supply to save little old me? Shucks. But by the way, throwing confetti that lands outside of a non bottomless hole eh, won't vanish. So don't worry about wasting it. Thank you, Toad. You helped me out up loot. Wish I could go down, but I can't. So instead, we're going this way. And encountering what the hell? What the hell indeed? Stepping straight out of Mario Bros. Sidesteppers! Literally, these things debuted in the original Mario Bros. for the NES. Not Super Mario Bros., just Mario Bros. As you can tell by their clawed fingers, we cannot jump on them without our precious iron boots, which I think are about to be... Did they? Yeah, they broke. Well, interesting. Inter well, shiny iron boots. Where's the real water elemental? I hope we get to meet it soon. Dang it! Stupid games using X as the menu! Yikes. Uh... Let's go shiny boots. Instead of shiny iron boots. Let's wait on the... On the shiny iron. Oh! I didn't even see that there. <laughs> Koopas! Uh, okay. Wasn't trying to run into that sidestepper, but I couldn't see. I got to fill in that hole all the way over here. That was cool. And this is weird. Huh. What in the world is that thing? You probably have to put a thing in a thing and do some other thing to do something else, but I have no idea where to start. I do. Hey. Not this time, Krabby! Sidesteppers, when flipped on their back, cannot attack you. It's essentially like being stunned. But for crabs. What? Wait, what? Uh, um, uh, confusing.
Sorry, but I'm using the toads. This is way too hard. Blue side steppers are a little stronger and faster, in the overworld at least, than the red side steppers. Meaning that uh, they are a pain to deal with. Wait, what? Huh? Okay. They're flipped over so they can't really do much. I doubt a single hammer strike is going to defeat them. We're not that strong. Yeah, I figured. I want to get the blue dudes out of the way, so... Guess we're using regular hammer. Since there isn't a specific type of hammer for specific enemies, I decided not to... Uh, what's the word? Um... Not to use any... Not to use anything other than the regular hammer when outside of boss fights. That's what I said. I don't know what you want from me, game. Please, kill these red sons of- You suck. But they're still flipped out. Oh no! If I can't line these guys up, that's going to be no good, Bambino. No good for me. So Toads, you're gonna have to help me. I don't care. I don't care if people think it's wrong that I'm using the toads to complete the puzzle. I don't care. Shiny hammer! What? Yo! I just... Okay, I added a new rule. If there is two of one type of weapon that I have, I am going to allow myself to use it. Also, I think you can access the weapons menu. Allowing you to put in equipment! <laughs> you ready, you stupid sidesteppers? Prepare to get shiny hammered! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you very much. Now please, give me that thingy. The groovy panel. Totally gnarly, dude. What do you think this thing is? I haven't seen any... So, haven't we seen something squares like this nearby? Kind of panel-y? Where was it? We're talking while crabs are just walking in front of us. I don't think we want to stay here too long, Olivia. But, now that we've taken care of that, we can now fill this in. Oh, of course! That tile we picked up is a perfect fit for this thing. See? Just the right size. Let's see if we can slip this tile in as the last step. Yep. We need to basically build this up. So if I go like that, like that, like that. Not too tough. But I do think this is really, really cool. Anyway, that causes water to flow. We did it! Look at all that water. Where do you think it goes? Oh. Screw the water. Oh, by the way, you don't have to ju I thought that in the past Paper Mario games, when there whenever there's a body of water, if you step in it, you get munched by a chain chop or something. So, I when I first played this, I just jumped over everything. Side steppers! Oh my god, I almost I'm not going for that mushroom. So those that see it and try to point it out, 
in the comments, you can screw yourselves. I'm sorry, I don't really mean that. If I hurt you, I'm sorry. I don't like being mean. It's just when I get mad, it... Whatever. We're all good, and that's what matters, yeah? <laughs> Freeing up that water causes this panel to spin, allowing us to get to the other side. Unfortunately, it also means we're now stuck waiting. So, Olivia, let me move. Now we're just stuck sitting here. Sitting and sitting and sitting, waiting for an opportunity to move. I almost just walked there. Holy crap. Okay. There's a few enemies down here, but none too tough. You can see, there's a few swoops. But if I just run, I shouldn't have any issue with them. I should be able to get this guy down. Oh my gosh, Mario, thank goodness you noticed me. I thought I was doomed to live my life as a window dressing in this damp, forgotten shrine. Okay. We got Max Heart. Which increases our health from 70 to 75. Wow, my joy in being rescued turned into an actual heart. Didn't know I could do that. Maybe I can make a sandwich appear next if I think about how hungry I am. What is this thing up here? It makes me curious now. Because it's not on any other side. Also, what is that? It was a hole. Containing a lot of money in front of a bunch of swoops. Really? So, don't know why I'm mentioning this now, but something I missed or forgot to talk about again in the Earth Valemental refight that I had to do was that the Earth Valemental is a tutorial boss meant to set up what the boss fights are like. As such, you are on a strict basically do what Olivia says basis. If you die enough times to the Earth Valemental, it'll let you skip the tutorial and let you fight as is. I learned that, well, I'll give credits at the end of this Let's Play. It just seems right. I like suspense. Don't worry about the sidesteppers. At least, you know, until now. I was gonna skip this entire battle, but these guys have a Valamental Circle. They have a magic circle, so we get to show off what this does. If I hadn't used the shiny hammer, that would not have worked. Let's use the Valamental's power. Magic circle on! Olivia! The Earth Valamental lifts Mario off of the ground. Baba boom. 50 damage to all opponents. And. Oh, just a wave battle bonus? Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Um. There's a crab moving up and down here. I want to get out of his way. Because despite seeing you, they can only move left and right. I think I just understood how to get the perfect lineup every time. You basically need to not use every single thing given to you in order to get it to work. So, if you have a certain amount of ring moves, you need to try and actually make a match without using every single move. I think that's pretty clever. It basically, it rewards people that are smart enough to see these different ways of matching up the enemies. Okay, time to deal with these. 
You know, sidesteppers aren't actually that hard, but they are pretty bulky. I mean, seriously, it takes quite a while to take one down. Making them a bit, uh, let's just be honest, very annoying to try and tackle. Which is why facing them in a wave battle was not exactly the easiest thing for me to do. <sighs> My throat hurts. But that's not gonna stop me. I'm not one to let my, uh... What should I call this? I, I don't know. But I don't usually let things like a sore throat stop me from entertaining. Of course, if I was a voice actor, I'd probably not be able to say the same thing. Another water elemental statue with a lot of water coming out of its mouth. I'm not sure if it's making me thirsty, or the opposite of thirsty, but it sure makes me feel something. Anyway, I guess being in the water elemental means you just really like water. You'd have to, right? Yeah, it's not like the water elemental hates its job and wishes it wasn't doing said job. You know, it's not like the water elemental hates water and is just forced to be that way because of some kind of stereotype in dragons. I mean, oh hurdy dur, if you're a blue dragon, then you must really be into water. You must have some pretty cool water powers because you're a wa you're a blue dragon. This went to a really weird thing about like equal rights with dragons. Now, I don't know how to feel about it. I also don't remember how to deal with this. Of course, I also couldn't see, so... You know how it is. The screen makes things a lot darker than the actual Switch is, I know that much. Oh my. Okay. Now, you could come out in any of these windows, but you want to come out in this one. Or just whack it with your hammer. I thought you could jump on it, but no. Does that mean the Valimental statue is crying? Or am I looking too into this? Let's go with that. Looks <sighs> like we got another slide puzzle. Well, I'm just going to cut the butter and get right to it. was somewhere here. It would be anywhere there's like a crack in the wall. Got it. Now then. What we got here? Oh, back in confetti. Thank you. And in this one we've got 100 coins. Thank you again. I don't... Well, this isn't where we're supposed to go. Clearly. So... Down here, maybe? Oh, God! Fish. Why does it have to be fish? Wait, how do I get up? How do I get back up now? Oh, God, am I stuck here? Doomed to forever wallow in my life as a fish? Do I have to become a fish? Okay, now seriously, how do I get out of here? Um... Hello? Kinda... Stuck down here. It... It's me. Mario. Just tried whacking this. Found our way out. And... Found our tile. Good no way. Ah, uh, good! Groovier panel! Nice! Um, <laughs> My battery is running low. Which battery? MY SWITCH BATTERY! I gotta hurry! 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What is in here? What? Well, well! Look who's stopping in for a cup of joe! What can I get you? Uncafe. Under coins. Huh. Can't say I ever expected to see you stumble in here, Mario. We try to keep this place a secret. Minions come here to unwind after a long day of pacing back and forth. I'm probably not supposed to be serving you like this, but I'll make an exception. As long as we've got you here, Mario, you can agree that Gilmers are uh, the strongest minions, right? I mean, we're usually the first ones you had to face, you know. We're the front line. That's proof that we're the most favorite of all Bowser. We always give 110%. <laughs> Keep dreaming, pal. Shy guys give 120% everywhere, every day. We're the clear favorite. Which minion was plotting the boss's clown car? Piling the boss's clown car during that big rescue at Peach's Castle? A shy guy. I even heard that that origami jerk who started this whole thing was dressed up as a shy guy. Can it, you dorks? Sorry, Mario. These two are always going at it like this. Goombas and Shy Guys, Mario and Minions, we're all dressed from the same pub. Drink your coffee. <laughs> wow. Um. Wasn't expecting such a calming atmosphere from the villains. Uh, the Uncafe! I believe there is one more of these cafe areas and it's way late into the game pretty interesting though I mean honestly thought I saw something like this here well let's go and finish that puzzle so that I can let my switch charge <laughs> you know sometimes you just need to calm down Right. Oh, looks like we can slide a tile into this opening, too. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, got it. All right, we got it. On my first playthrough, I managed to get, like, an actual path to the gear, but I didn't use all of the panels, so it didn't count. I thought the game would, like, reward me for being clever, but no. It didn't. And that kind of made me sad, because I was freaking amazed, because this was not easy. It wasn't easy then, wasn't easy now. But, now that we've got two things of water flowing in two different areas, guess you know what that means. Yes, the water elemental's mouth is wide open now. Almost looks like it's roaring. <laughs> Oh, hey! Look inside its mouth! Are those stairs? That must be the way to the Earth Elemental. I hope we can make it up those steps without the statue chomping us down. <laughs> oh, Olivia, you are silly. <laughs> Next time on Paper Mario the Origami King, we're heading through this mouth and facing the Water Elemental. See you guys then.